He can wear a red shirt and a blue trousers. He can wear green shirt and a blue trousers or else he can wear blue shirt and blue trousers. Now let's say Johnny gets an additional green trousers. If so, in how many different ways can he wear the clothes? Red shirt and blue trousers, green shirt and blue trousers, red shirt and green trousers, blue shirt and blue trousers. green shirt and green trousers and blue shirt and green trousers like this he can wear the clothes as six pairs isn't it well can you say in how many pairs are the shirt and trousers of same color it's two pairs right that is either the shirt and trousers should be both blue or green isn't it the probability to get the shirt and trousers of same color is 2 out of 6 that is 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3 that is the probability to get shirt and trousers of same color is 1 by 3 just like this if we can consider the result of an activity as pairs we can find the associated probability by dividing the number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes let's consider another situation Rajini has necklaces and earrings made with different colored stones that are green, blue and red. If so, in how many ways she can pair the necklace and the earring? Green necklace, green earring, green necklace, blue earring, green necklace, red earring, blue necklace, green earring, blue necklace, blue earring, blue necklace, red earring, red necklace, green earring, red necklace, blue earring, red necklace, red earring. that is she can wear the necklaces and earrings in nine different ways if so let's find out the probability that rajini matches the necklace and earring can you say the probability to wear both the ornaments with same colored stone on a particular day same colored stone means green necklace and green earring blue necklace and blue earring or red necklace and red earring that is there are three such pairs now can you say the probability that rajini wears necklace and earrings with different colored stones there are six such pairs out of total nine and hence the probability that rajini wears necklace and earring of different stone color is 6 by 9 that is 2 by 3 now let's consider another situation with number pairs there are four pieces of papers with numbers 1 2 3 and 4 on it inside a box in another box there are two papers numbered 1 and 2 we are going to take two papers one from each of the boxes without looking if so what all possible pairs of numbers can we get we can obtain one from the first box and one from the second box one from the first box and two from the second box and so on Let's try to put the possible pairs of outcomes in a box like this. If we select 1 2 3 4 number papers from box 1 and pair it with one from the second box, the outcomes are 1 1 2 1 3 1 and 4 1. And if you select two from the second box, the pairs are 1 2 2 2 3 2 and 4 2. In total there are eight such pairs which can be obtained like this. Can you say which are the pairs that have both the numbers odd? 1 1 and 3 1, isn't it? That is the probability that both the numbers are odd is 2 by 8, that is 1 by 4. Now, the probability for both the numbers to be even is also 1 by 4 since the pairs are 2 2 and 4 2. What is the probability of obtaining pairs where one number is even and other is odd? To find out this, we need to subtract the number pairs with both digits even and both digits odd from total number of pairs. That is, 
from total 8 pairs, we need to subtract 2 pairs with both digits odd and another 2 pairs with both digits even, that is 4 pairs. Hence, there are 4 pairs for which one number is odd and other is even. Hence, the probability for obtaining a pair where one number is even and other is odd is 4 by 8, that is 1 by 2. Which all are the pairs in which both digits are the same? They are 1, 1 and 2, 2, right? The probability to get these outcomes is 2 by 8, that is 1 by 4. Whenever we calculate probabilities, we need to take care of one more thing. Suppose we are tossing two coins together. Then the outcomes can be two heads, two tails or one head and one tail. If we say that the probability for each of these outcomes is 1 by 3, it's wrong. Well, let's see the possible outcomes again. Head in the first coin, head in the second coin. Tail in the first coin, head in the second coin. Tail in the first coin, tail in the second coin. Head in the first coin, tail in the second coin. Tail in the first coin, head in the second coin. And that made a total of four pairs of outcomes, right? Hence, the probability for each of these outcomes is not 1 by 3, but it is 1 by 4. We have seen the probabilities associated with problems of pairs. You can see other activities given in the textbook in the Maths Lab icon. download the learning app.